Hi everyone, Claire McDade here, Project Manager of the Skylark 9 Recovery Project. With funding from the National Lottery Heritage Fund, we're about to start another COVID safe model boat building course by Zoom with clients from Alternatives Recovery Service in Clyde Bank, our second such course in lockdown. We're working with the fantastic Arch Archipelago Folk School team. This time round, the course will be delivered by Daisy Martinez, who you'll hear from in a minute. When we get out of lockdown, we plan to open up our wood skills and boat building opportunities to the wider community. And we've already started to build a full-size St Ailes rowing skip at the Denny Tank Museum in Dumbarton. And we can't wait to get back to that work and invite more people to get involved when restrictions are eased. Now, I'll hand over to my colleague Jade West for a quick hello before Daisy tells us more about the model boat building tutorials. So my name's Jade. I am a proud the Barton born and raised girl. And my role with the Skylark 9 Recovery Trust is as volunteer coordinator. So I'm your point of contact for getting involved in the project and some of our activities. And my role is really to support everyone to access these volunteering opportunities and to get, and to get involved with our project activities. So I do a lot of community engagement work that's themed around local history, heritage, arts and culture. And I'd really encourage people to come along and learn something new with us. While sharing your own stories and experiences with us to learn from you too the locals and how we as a project can support your aspirations. So come along and get involved, guys. I'll just hand you over to Daisy to tell you a little more about uh, Daisy's side of the project with us as well. Hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Daisy and I'm one of the boat builders at Archipelago Folk School. So the Folk School is a social enterprise and we're all about um, connecting people with craft and sharing and teaching hands-on craft skills in a range of different crafts. But our main focus is boat building and our three core staff team are all boat builders, wooden boat builders. And that's what brings us together with uh, Jade and Claire and Alternatives and the Skylark Recovery Project. Um, because as Claire introduced, we're going to be um, collaborating on a community boat building project based in Dumbarton at the Denny Tank Museum. So once uh, lockdown begins to ease, my colleague Jason, who's a fantastic boat builder, will be working with volunteers from Alternatives and from the wider Dumbarton and Clyde Bank communities to build a St Ailes skiff. And I'm going to attempt to share my screen, show you some pictures of one now. Uh, so here are some St Ailes skiffs. Um, they're really beautiful, graceful wooden rowing boats. Um, and these boats are designed for four rowers um, and they're typically built community communities to, to use and row. Um, and they can be used for social rowing um, and adventuring and exploring local waterways and coastlines. Um, and they can also, they're also used often in social racing events. So communities come together with their skiffs and hold racing events around the Scottish coastline. Um, so they're just a great way to get out on the water and to, to hang out with others and to learn to learn to row and to improve your fitness and just have great fun. Um, so as you can see, it's a, yeah, it's a very graceful, beautiful boat. They're about 22 foot long. Um, and their design is uh, inspired by the traditional Fair Isle skiffs. Um, so they're quite traditional looking. So Jason will be building one of these um, at the Denny Tank Museum with volunteers. Here's uh, a picture of Jason having started the project before lockdown. And they made some really good headway. They finished the building frame and they've, um, they've set up the moulds that the planks will be built around at the Denny tank. So they've got started. Unfortunately, it's had to go on pause due to the restrictions, but um, it's ready to get back up and running as soon as it's safe to return to face to face group work. So watch this space for that. Um, and in the meantime, uh, we've dreamed up a way to do as Claire was introducing, we've we've dreamed up a way to do um, COVID safe boat building from our living rooms or from our kitchen tables. I'll just stop, stop sharing the screen. Um, and so for the next nine weeks, I'm going to be working with uh, volunteers and clients from the Alternatives Safest Houses project to build a fleet of 
uh, model boats that look something like this. So here's a prototype. Um, and these models are an eighth scale, fairly accurate model of a little rowing boat called an Echo Bay Dory Skiff. And it's designed, these little skiffs are designed to be rowed by a single rower, but they can take a, a couple of passengers and a dog and a picnic. Um, and yeah, the original, the, the full size boats are 12 foot long. This is about 50 centimeters long. And the models are made from kits of uh, pre-cut, laser cut parts. And they're made of birch plywood, which can be carefully um, bent into form the curves of the boat that you can see here. And later on in the project, I'm very excited that we're going to be working with a sailmaker called Mark from Orkney, and he's going to be leading us through the process of building and rigging a model sail, a very accurate sprit sail to go with our boats. Um, and then once our hulls are finished and our sails are finished, we'll decorate them and we'll name them and we'll we'll have a celebratory launch and watch them float. Um, so yeah, that's a sneak preview into some of the boaty activities that are going to be taking place that we'll all be involved in over the next few weeks at Alternatives. And we're looking forward to it. <laughs>